so the big story last night coming out of the Miami Dolphins Buffalo Bills game isn't the fact that the Bills beat the Dolphins 31 10. The big story is Tua Tayavangaloa. And in the third quarter, um, he suffered another concussion. You have to go back to 2022 where he missed, I believe it was five games due to concussions. Um, last season, 2023, he played the entire season. No problems, no issues. But last night on a fourth and four play in the third quarter, um, Tua scrambled and ironically, he was tackled by DeMar Hamlin. And when you watch this play, you can see Tua lower his head and shoulder and hit Hamlin square in the chest. So here's the play for you folks. If you haven't seen it, um, it's, it doesn't appear to be that bad of a hit, but we know in football looks can be deceiving. Now I'm not going to play the audio on this. Uh, Cause Al Michaels is getting roasted for his comments on, on this play. And after Tua was removed from the game. So here we go. It's a 22 second video, but you'll get the gist of it. Even without sound. You're down by 21 points. So there you see Tua lowers his head and shoulders, hits, hits Hamlin square in the chest, um, and he gets up kind of groggy. Now, here's the big question that everybody's having this morning. The question is, what should Tua do? Should he continue playing in the NFL? Um, should he retire? Or is the uh, independent neurologist going to sign off on him being cleared to play? Because that, that's an option too. So really, we got three options here as it pertains to Tua Tagovailoa in his NFL career. He can get cleared and keep playing. And if he does, he better learn how to slide feet first and not dive head first that could possibly mitigate any further concussions. Um, he could just take the Andrew Luck route and just retire. Or an independent neurologist can say, you know what? For your health and safety, I can't sign off on you continuing playing football. So those are the three options. Now, on social media, the reaction's been kind of mixed. I mean, right off the bat here, I feel bad for the guy, but the Miami Dolphins have to be one of the dumbest run teams in the NFL. $167 million guaranteed. Now, I'm not going to speculate on the financial implications of the Dolphins if Tua should decide to just say, you know what, for my health, for safety, I got to retire, I got a family to think about. Or if, you know, an uh, independent neurologist just says, you're done, you're not playing anymore. I don't know the financial ramifications for the Dolphins. I don't care about the financial ramifications for the Dolphins. What I care about, what fans should care about is Tua's health and safety. I mean, he's, he's got a wife, two young kids. I'm sure they can work out a settlement if he decides to hang it up and retire. Why is this man still playing football? Enough already. Hashtag Tua Tagovailoa. Um... Chris Nowinski, former professional wrestler, CEO of Concussion LF, says that Tua Tagovailoa's right hand clinching into a fist and his arm shooting straight into the air is a form of posturing, indicating potential loss of consciousness. That's that's a good possibility. So Tua got rocked against the Bills. He was scrambling, got hit by Hamlin, and his head snapped back, looked rough. He walked off on his own, but you can tell something wasn't right. Everyone's talking about it on X, hoping he's okay. Did head coach just kiss his QB goodbye? 
Wait, why did he kiss him at all? <laughs> Gotta have a little levity in these situations. Now, uh, he'll retire as they negotiate a settlement on a contract. No doctor will put his name on a form clearing him. It's okay. Hashtag Tua Tyavungaloa is still winning. That's a career ender. He went rigor mortis again. That concussion will end his playing days because no way on earth will a Miami Dolphins medical doctor ever clear him again. Hashtag Tua Tyavungaloa. Tua Tyavungaloa. Hashtag Buffalo versus Miami. That's just a few comments on social media. Um, over on OutKick, they say here, um, Tua's laying on his back, struggling to get up with his arm awkwardly stuck out, clenching his fist. Dr. Dolphin's medical staff assisted Tua as he got up and walked gingerly off the field. He headed straight to the locker room, joined by his family, including his wife, two children in the locker room. Ruled out with a concussion after just six minutes of evaluation, according to the Thursday Night Football broadcast. Hamlin seems shaken up by the frightening sight of an injured Tua. Buffalo wins. Players from both teams immediately took, took a knee, witnessing a frightening scene that had haunted Tua in the past. Now, if people don't remember, because we have short memories in the United States now, most of us, um... Back in 2022, uh, Tua suffered two concussions in the span of four days, which prompted serious concerns over the 26-year-old's health and the Dolphins' concussion protocols. Um, if I remember correctly, the neurologist that signed off on him playing in 2022 was dismissed by the NFL. Because of this, being able to being able to play um, football after suffering two concussions in the span of four days. Now, Des Bryant chimed in saying, "That's it, NFL, go ahead and do the right thing." Tua has had entirely way too many concussions. He needs to retire for his longevity health concerns. There you have it. The story out of last night's game between the Bills and Dolphins is what's to a tie of Ungaloa's future. Personally, me, I think he should seriously look at retiring. I'm not going to comment on his um, playing ability. There have been people out there saying, well, he's, he's average at best. He didn't deserve the contract. Um, I don't care about that. I care about the player's health. And in my opinion, I think he should retire. He's going to be well off. I'm sure they can negotiate a, 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 a settlement of his contract where he's going to be taken care of and his family's going to be taken care of for the rest of his life. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Um, you think Tua should retire? While you're at it, please, and I know this is kind of, with the tone of this video, this is kind of a huge ask, but please take the time to smash that thumbs up, smash that like button. By doing that, that helps to show YouTube that, hey, people like my videos, like my content, and that help, that allows YouTube to push out my content. Um, if you're new here and haven't subscribed, you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. With that, hope everybody has a great Friday, and I'll see you later.